thanks for giving me this opportunity. So, considering the time shortage, I'll straight away move to the point and I'll share my screen. Let me share the screen and I'll move first to my presentation. So, the AI tool and the theme of my use case is automating the accounting entries in cloud computing software like Xero. This is the case which I am taking. So the problem is like we have to, let's say a small businessman, they have a information. They need to punch the data in the accounting software to prepare the invoice. Now, but if I want to integrate it in a simpler way, let's say a software or a spreadsheet, which is known to and which is user friendly to all of be it an accountant or be it a client side, it would be much simpler that the data just I entered in the spreadsheet is automatically created in the form of an invoice in the accounting software. So this is the problem and the pain point that I am trying to address. But sometimes to integrate these cloud software with the accounting software, you may need to have an API integration and all. Now, with the new age automation tools, even this problem of API and integration is solved. You need not to do anything. It's just a plug and play model with the tool that I'm using today to demonstrate called Zapier. So Zapier is a new age automation tool wherein you can just pair and plug the Google Sheets and Zero together and see what are the power of these two tools. So I'll straight away then now move to the demo of the use case. So I'll open this app first called automation app. It's called zapier.com. You have a paid version as well as free version. But of course, if you need to do much more, you need to have a uh, either a premium version, which is not very significant. The cost is like 1600 a month or a discounted, let's say 800 a month. You need to take a subscription of that. Now, in the Zapier tool, there is a terminology called Zap. Zap means you create a trigger and an action. So in this tool, so first of all, I need to see what I want to integrate here. Let's see, I'll go to the home, Zap. And let me see, just, okay. I'll search the app. Since I want to create accounting entry in Zero. I will search for the app library because Zapier has a lot of pre-configured these libraries. So I'll use Zero. Now will ask me, what is the pairing app that I want to use along with Zero? So as I see, I want to create entry in Zero using my Google Sheet data. So I'll select Google Sheet. Then it will automatically show me what Zero and Google Sheet combined can do the things. I can create expense invoice, I can create accounting entries from Google Sheets to the zero. So this is the one case which I'm picking up, but there are a lot of other cases which we can select, but this is the one which I'm taking it for now. So I'll take this as a template, wherein if I add a row in my Google Sheet, it will automatically create a draft invoice in my zero. Of course, before doing this, you need to have a zero account. You need to create a business. You need to set up your inventory items and you need to set up some your items and you need to set up your customers. But once this setup, which is like every accounting software, you need to do some basic configuration. Then this software will itself give you a template. Let's say a template file, wherein in the zero, I can see a download a template file. Once I download this template file, I can paste this in my Google Sheets. And here I have already created a template file, which the zero has downloaded just to save the time here. And will. so this Google Sheet is already there. Now, what I need to do here is I need to paste the data here in the this Google Sheet. And now there is one more sort of automation that we can do wherein even which I'm not showing today, but, but even from your say, CRM data, like you have your Zoho, this can also be integrated as a part of your Zapier, which I'll show towards the end of this. But let's say, for example, this template file, I put the data manually, or let's say the accountant, client's accountant, he has put this data manually in the accounting sheet. 
So this is my template file, which I just downloaded it from the zero tool. And I put the data based on my customer master and accounting masters, the data, this template file is now ready. Now let me do one thing. I'll put paste this template file, one row in the Google sheet simply. Okay. Now I have the data. Now what I need to do is I need to connect my Google sheet account and the zero data account so that they can work together. I need not to put any API or integration, anything. It will work simultaneously. So it will search for the sheet zero invoices. This is the sheet that I'm using in the zero invoices sheet. It will ask me what is the tab that I, it's called zero invoices. Now it will test the trigger. Okay. It meets the trigger. It means there is a data. Now it has automatically based on the data on the row that I have collected. It has automatically as a test row, say that this is the, are your rows and this is the data. Okay. I will say that this is the selected record. I can continue. Now it is asking me what to do as an action. The first is the trigger that the trigger is I am putting a row in the Google sheet. Now the next step is what to do once this action is performed. I want to create a sales invoice in the app called zero. I will continue it. I need to link it, which is a very simple process. You just need to enter your login ID and it will integrate together. Now I just need to do a one-time mapping here. I will put Manish Agarwal online seller. This is the name of my business here. Then I will do some basic mandatory fields like contact name. Let's say it is all and not this data. It is taking already mapping. It's just like doing a mapping from the field. It has already recognized. I will just do the, for the sake of convenience and time, just the mandatory fields here, but we can do all sort of mappings here. Let's say I put the tax number here. Status, it asks whether the invoice is to be directly draft, put in draft, submit or approval. I will put it as a draft invoice. Currency, by default, it takes from the accounting software, it will take as an INR. Now reference, let's say I have already there in the my Google Sheet template, reference it will take. Now I can put the line items. It will ask whether it should be an exclusive or inclusive. It is exclusive. Now I'll put the item code here, which is already there in my Google Sheet first line item. Just a sec. Custom item. Inventory code. Quantity. It will also come from the Google Sheet. Attention, last two minutes left. Yeah, sure. We'll choose the amount. The account is custom. Okay. So this is now sending the data to the zero based on the mapping that I've done. Now I'll test this tab. It is successful. Now it has sent the data to the zero. I'll publish this. Just a sec. What will happen? I'll just transfer the existing data here. I will see a record here. It is just loading. Yeah. And as a next step, what I'll do this, I'll transfer the data here, send data. Yeah, it's success. Now I can see in the, my zero case, accounting, business, invoices. A draft is there. Just let me see. There was one already created. Let me just show you that this has been created, right?
Yeah, you see on 14 June 5.22, this invoice is automatically created in the draft form. Now I can upload it or preview it, whatever do. And the good part is this is on a Google sheet. So even if let's say someone working from a remote base, let's say make any entry in the row and it will work on a real time. time base. Okay. Yeah, this is my case. Okay. I think I'll stop. Manish, uh, I just uh, saw your presentation, a nice presentation. Uh, basically, I think what you're trying to do is that instead of going through the complex routine of making an entry, which uh, probably a skilled person can do, all you are doing is creating a Excel Google worksheet, sheet. a Google yes. sheet or an Excel worksheet in which the fields are first pre-mapped with the software. And then once that uh, the requisite fields are uh, completed, yeah. it makes the entry in the accounting software yes that's the whole objective and okay. it's so and it works on a real time basis uh, like google sheet as you know it's on a cloud basis so i can share it with my accounting staff or with the staff of the client okay and, and you can, can multiple locations also if there are three or four people at different locations you can uh, use the same google sheet and they can punch in data and it will be done and time. of course, I can enter some validation checks that data needs to be of the meet the proper fields and security checks where I need to see what data is entry. I can do a security and protection in the Excel. I can also connect it to the uh, Microsoft Excel, just like Google Sheet, but Microsoft Excel would require a OneDrive paid version, which many of okay. us do not. So Google Sheet, I thought it's a free version, but I can demonstrate it with the Microsoft Excel. Okay, OneDrive. got it, got it. Uh, but first... All the fields will have to be matched with the accounting software. That is that's one. A one that's one, a one-time thing. One-time job and one subpoena. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Manu sir. Over to you, Mayur Bhai. Great. Actually, I appreciate the usage. First of all, I have seen uh, Zapier being presented by any uh, member because it is something a connector which can place number of integration in our overall chartered accountancy different types of tools. So yeah. what about integration with other tools also? Is it possible to connect yes. with other applications yeah. like GST so, uh, and many yeah. of the applications? Yes. So uh, let's say uh, I come because back to... There I... is something we can connect with any or it's so, like a connector. So yeah. let's, I give you an example. Let's say the data that is coming to the Google sheet. I have shown in the, for the simplicity is I am myself entering it, but I can connect Zapier with the Zoho CRM as well. So oh. the data that is put at a deal stage by any sales rep in the Zoho that can also map to the Google Sheet template and it can work three ways like data coming from Zoho to Google Sheet and then it will automatically flow to the zero. So I need not to do anything. I just need to do so the use cases so you are, are, you are able to connect your accounting data with the crm data also parallel. yes yes just like salesforce or any other enterprise automation it has capabilities like you can connect your zoho workday freshworks it has a lot of apps it has more than six thousand apps that can work in connection with the any other accounting you can use great thank you nice explanation Appreciate presentation